The following is a paid program sponsored by the Air Resources Board. Big rigs, other diesel trucks, and buses. Now add the air we breathe. It all goes together. Hey, I'm John Lobertini. You know, these trucks deliver just about everything we use on a daily basis. We also need good, clean air to live and thrive. So how does it all come together? Well, I'm going to show you. Come along for the ride, because we're driving a better California. Let's hit the road. Trucks, they're hard to miss. Yeah, they see us out on the highway and they think, oh, you, you truck driver, get out of the way, you're blocking the highway. But no, we're, we're trying to do a service. And the old saying goes, if you got it, a truck brought it. Mandarin oranges picked outside Sacramento at sunrise are sold in the San Francisco Bay Area before the sun goes down. Truck transportation makes it possible to get those mandarin oranges from tree to market in a matter of hours. You know, a look around this truck stop and you realize just about everything we consume or use at home and work is delivered by trucks and rigs like these. Everything from paper products to fruits and vegetables. Oh wow, I've delivered um, from military equipment to uh, food that goes on your table. Keith Sears is a seasoned road warrior who's been driving for more than 25 years. His new truck is his pride and joy. It's a 2010, beautiful truck, love it. Um, I had a old 95 that was a polluter. The trucking industry is playing an active role in cleaning up the air, in helping to improve the health of Californians. Not through just the cargo that they haul, but through their actual activities and buying clean diesel equipment. Yes, it is up to uh, California state compliance. Keith bought his truck with the help of an Air Resources Board grant. The West Sacramento Trucking Company he works for, Divine, provided the latest information about regulations to make sure he got into a compliant vehicle and that he got financial support. When I first initially heard about it, there was a little bit of pushback from me because I was like, I just paid off my truck, that extra money's gone into my pocket, and then once I got educated, Divine did a tremendous job on educating us about the importance of this. And we all jumped aboard, and it was a good thing. And I get new trucks, it's good for everybody. It's clean air, good environment too. Companies like Divine are getting the word out. Over 80% of the trucks in California are now compliant with regulations. We tell people all the time that you have various paths to compliance. You can retrofit, you can look in a new used vehicle, or of course you can look in a new vehicle. California is leading the country and the world in the fight to win back clean air. Diesel exhaust is a big offender, and truckers have been enlisted to clean up their rigs. Better air means healthier people, quality of life. These are the heaviest of the trucks, the heavy duty diesel vehicles, and um, they are the trucks that you would see, you know, doing the long haul, the short haul, the, the, the large load trucking that you see on the freeways. It is the future of our state, it is the future of our kids, and the fact that the trucking industry has been able and willing to step up to the plate and be a partner in it is what's going to make this program succeed. Matt Schrapp is president of California Fleet Solutions in Los Angeles. Matt recently connected Sergio Hernandez with an Air Resources Board grant that helped him get into a newer truck. This is my life. Uh, you know, this is the, the best thing in my life because I have two kids on the university. So if I don't have this truck, I don't be able to work the, the next year in, in January. But now I could do, and I can pay my bills, my home loan, everything. Because the program helped me to, to get this 2009 truck, so now I feel really happy about it. 12 years ago, Sergio came to California from Mexico. Like most kids these days, his son Javier is more computer savvy than his dad. So Javier navigated the ARB Truck Stop website for his father. And now Sergio is in a new compliant legal truck. So he had a vague idea about the program. Um, but he didn't know how to apply or how to go about it. So I just, I went online and looked up everything for him. And it allows him to keep working. I mean, without it, he only has a certain amount of time to, so he, that he would have been able to drive his older truck. But now he has this new one and he, he's able to drive it for many years. There's the truck. <laughs> Sergio is working hard to put his kids through college. 
it's my dreams comes true, my, my kids. I think he's great. He's an amazing guy, really a great influence in my life. Um, extremely hardworking. Um, my best friend, to be honest. While providing a better future for his kids, Sergio also feels good that he's doing his part to improve the air we breathe. It's our future. It's our future. All, all of us. Yeah, we are trying to keep the, the state clean and eventually the country. And if we go so far, the world. Because we have to show the world we are doing good in California to, to show them to, to do the same thing, to keep the world clean. Sergio wants to keep California clean for his children and other kids, like this nine-year-old little girl in Fresno. And bad air makes you cough. It makes you, if for the people who have asthma, it makes them cough really much, might have asthma attack. So it's really bad, bad air. Montserrat has asthma. Unfortunately, asthma is prevalent among kids in areas throughout California, areas like the Central Valley. They know that the major corridor for goods movement in California mm -hmm. runs right through uh, the Central Valley, and um, the people who live there are bearing some of the cost of California's economic prosperity. Because of freeways, traffic, and the fact that geographically it's essentially a bowl, the region is a hotbed of pollution. The truck and bus rule will prevent tons and tons of pollution from getting into our air and into our lungs, and that'll save thousands of lives. Saving lives paramount. California has growing concerns ahead. Drastic weather patterns are raising alerts. The fact is that that's what we're seeing now, and we're seeing day after day of um, elevated levels of particles way above the standards, and this is uh, something that uh, we really have to worry about as a public health agency. Well, the reality of climate change, I think, is upon us. Uh, there are fewer and fewer skeptics out there. Uh, that is the fact that we know that there is change already happening, and the fact that the drought is upon us, uh, that the snowpack is not what it needs to be, and that this also has an impact on air quality. Um, we used to talk about how warming temperatures were going to have a negative impact on smog, photochemical smog, because in warmer weather, the same amount of emissions will turn into more pollution. We're all in this together. We breathe the same air. Therefore, it's our California to heal. So you're a trucker? Well, it's time to comply with California's air quality regulations. The rules are there for a reason, better air for all of us. Yes, it's a delicate balance, but comply and you keep working, delivering goods, supporting your families. It's a win-win. Once shrouded in smog, these days you can see for miles overlooking downtown Los Angeles. And California's got the biggest smog problem. Uh, I lived here for a long time. I remember rolling over the grapevine when I was young down in the LA and just see that big brown cloud and go like, what the heck is that? And you look like you could cut it with a knife. Now you don't see that as often anymore. It's still there on certain days, but you got the Santa Ana winds that blow that stuff out into the desert and it just kind of dissipates. But uh, it's a lot cleaner now than it was when I was young. I know folks who have lived here in Southern California for you know decades, and they remember the days when they were being sent in as school children because of smog alert days. And that has drastically changed over the years, where now the vistas are much more clear. You have less days that are exceeding federal air quality standards. Air Resources Board regulations are making an impact. In particular, ports and rail yards that adopted them a few years ago are experiencing better air quality as a result. Those areas are heavily traveled by trucks. Bringing them into compliance has made a difference. Not just for those who live and breathe here in California, but for those who operate the equipment as well, who are exposed day in, day out to toxic diesel emissions um, and other adverse health effects that occur for, you know, being in and around diesel equipment. That's right. Air quality regulations requiring truckers to upgrade their rigs helps drivers who inhale exhaust while on the road. These rules protect everyone. 
Well, I have to breathe it day in and day out. Um, and so do the, my guys here that work. And I don't want uh, anything from that standpoint to, to happen to them. So yeah, we do care. Mr. Curry's been the pioneer of, of air quality for here. Everything here is uh, clean. Our forklifts, our yard goats, all of our trucks, and uh, they, they have, uh, They've been totally cleaned and, and, and passed the air quality, and, and Bob has been, uh, Mr. Curry has been the pioneer of that. We don't own a lot of trucks, but we employ a lot of independent contractors to bring the cargo from the harbor to our facility. At the port of Long Beach, 82-year-old Robert Curry daily walks the warehouse and docks of California Cartage Company. We're bringing containers of product from the harbor to this facility. At the direction of the customer, we're unloading them and then at their direction, we're reloading them into outbound containers to go to the distribution centers in the cities that are inland. He's been in the trucking industry for decades and absolutely will not hire a driver operating a non-compliant vehicle. Oh yes, everyone is compliant. Everything in our operation is compliant. So they've got two choices, continue doing what they're doing and not be in business or get a new truck. A new truck doesn't have to be new, a new compliant truck and they'll be okay. My father started this business in 1950 with one truck. Bob Massman is a leader at the California Trucking Association. From an office above his warehouse in Los Angeles, he runs dependable trucking. Massman encourages drivers to get the facts about air quality regulations. He says it will pay off in the long run. To get as much information as you can, there's a lot of, the, there's a lot of opportunities to be able to get grant money. We in California, a lot of the companies have, have have done everything they can to be compliant and hopefully that you know this will carry on to other states it makes it an even playing field too but it just makes sense that you know if the air we breathe is cleaner because of what we've done the air in other states would be just as clean if they did the same thing categories that they address on the truckers website the truck stop through the arb is the on-road truck and bus rule you have the statewide greenhouse gas regulation and you have the drainage truck regulation as well as the transport refrigerated unit regulation so those are kind of the four major regulations that touch the private commercial on-road heavy duty trucking industry bring your truck into compliance you know there are no more extensions get the monkey off your back get it done and the freedom of the open road is yours Ken Albertson started driving a truck at 16 and now owns Progressive Transportation Services in Stockton. I started uh, driving for a company, then I owned my own truck and um, then worked, went to work for a trucking company and worked my way up in the, in the business. He's raised his family in the San Joaquin Valley. It's one of the areas currently struggling with serious pollution. Clean air. It's simple as that. I mean, uh, the trucks are... are they're, the newer manufactured trucks operate much cleaner and the air is much cleaner. There's no, very virtually no diesel exhaust that smoke and uh, particulate matter and, and NOx emissions that do come out of the newer trucks. And, and so everybody's going to ben benefit by cleaner air. It's, uh, it's not going to change the way we deliver things. It's just going to change the environment around us. To learn what regulations affect you, we've got free fleet assessments and online resources straight ahead. Stay tuned. No doubt about it, our state is vast and gorgeous. And for all the right reasons, California is again taking the lead, this time with air quality. And truckers, know that you're playing a big role. Comply and get her done. Deadlines are here. If you're a trucker and you drive an older vehicle, it's time to take action. You'll either need to upgrade your equipment or get an exhaust soot filter like the one you're seeing right now. We have an ability to have folks, help the folks that need to comply. Uh, with a number of mechanisms, uh, including financial assistance, obviously. Free fleet assessments are available through the ARB and a variety of private businesses. Where the rubber hits the road, where the real brass tacks are, is in the enforcement side. That's where the main challenge is. And, and the ARB, ARB makes no bones about the fact that the number one enforcement referral is the industry itself. 
So on the one hand, you have folks who are spending millions of dollars to get into compliance with these regulations, while the guy down the street hasn't done anything and says, try and catch me. Think about this for a minute. Truckers who aren't compliant, the work stops rolling in. You won't get that next big hauling contract, and the fines are steep. That's not good for anyone, especially you. You can have the best policy, the best rule in the world, but if there is no uh, follow through, if there is no uh, accountability, if there, is, if there is no enforcement of that rule, uh, it's, it's, it's no better than the paper that is written on. To level the playing field while improving public health, enforcement is in full swing on California's roadways. We look at everything that we do through a double lens, and that is, you know, health, Public health, uh, air quality, reaching our, our, our goals for air quality is, is always going to be uh, our driving priority. At inspection sites, truckers are randomly pulled over to see if they're blowing clean. The soot part of those emissions, the black smoky soot part of the emissions, is, is probably the simplest way to, to explain what black carbon is. Particular matter emissions are composed of black carbon and particulate matter emissions are a concern to us because they impact health. Don't comply and fines are steep in the hundreds and thousands of dollars. But truckers are being given every opportunity. The driver getting fined right now says he tried for a loan but didn't qualify. But the state wants you to have it before. They, they want proof. Yes, they want proof now. One of our commitments is, and one of our board's commitments is, to work with them to find ways, whether it's additional time, some flexibility as, we, as they work to take the steps they need to, and incentive funding to get them into a cleaner truck, which is ultimately really what the goal of the program is. He documents that information, and ARB will help out. Well, that's, that's what good faith is. Good faith is saying, okay, I'm in the process of purchasing a truck. I'm in the process of purchasing, purchasing a filter. I'm in the process. Oh, that's absolutely right. We've, we've invested a lot of resources and time to make sure that the community understands what it is they need to do. And what we find is that most fleets really do want to do the right thing and be compliant. Air Resources Board is full steam ahead, trying to get the information into the hands of those who need it. Pump toppers are at truck stops, ads are in trucking trade magazines throughout the state, and there's this. She's been behind the wheel of a rig like this for years, Lisa Kelly from Ice Road Truckers. The Air Resources Board teamed up with Lisa to get the word out about compliance. Take a look. Hi, I'm Lisa Kelly, and I've been behind the wheel of big rigs for years. You may have seen me on Ice Road Truckers. I know the rules of the road. Here in California, rigs must meet air quality regulations. And for good reason, fines are steep. We drive trucks because we like the freedom. We need the jobs, not the worries that come with operating out of compliance rigs. Know the rules. There are no extensions. Trucks, buses, and kids, hard to keep them separate. We can't, nor do we want to. The issue really is whether you care about clean air. We have, um, these rules are in place solely because uh, the pollution coming out of the trucks is really so toxic. Will Barrett is policy manager with the American Lung Association in California. We're here to talk about the importance of the truck and bus rule, um, the Air Resources Board regulation to clean up diesel particulates from our trucks and buses. Diesel particulate pollution is one of the most dangerous substances you can breathe in. It's especially damaging to children's lungs. Fresno sits in the Central Valley near major freeways in the heart of agriculture land. Pollution is a reality. A lot of our students uh, come to us with asthma. Um, we're a low income neighborhood, so a lot of our children have a lot of health needs. And part of that is the breathing, the asthma. Okay guys, welcome to asthma class, asthma education class. My name is Coda. Right now we have a class going on for our fourth graders that teach them how to work with the asthma and live with the asthma. Into the nose, out to the mouth. A high percentage of kids in the Central Valley have asthma. Dozens of schools in the region use flags to alert kids and parents about air quality. The colors of the flags correspond to uh, the levels of 
uh, pollution in the air that day. So they range from red, orange, yellow, and green to being the, the healthier air. Red means that it's unhealthy. Um, you, can't, you can't go outside if you're an asthma person. You gotta stay indoors and take your inhaler. The Air Quality Flag Program uh, existed over 700 schools in the San Joaquin Valley. And it's critical to, um, to know, it's, it's a visual reminder of the air pollution that kids are exposed to on a daily basis. I know about good air that it makes you um, breathe better and make air quality, to make it better so you don't start coughing. The people in the, in the transportation business, in the drayage business and whatever trucking business, we all have kids too. So it's just as important to us to have clean air out there. Our kids breathe the same air, we breathe the same air that everybody else does. I want to breathe good air because it it makes me feel better. I won't, I won't cough, I won't have like asthma attacks, I'll, I won't be coughing, I'll feel better. We have children that when the air quality is poor here, they can't even go out to recess. They have to stay indoors, monitored, and it restricts their ability to be physically active. And to see their little faces having to sit in there is very sad, but it's also sad to see them when they go out and they're coughing. But we try and teach them what can aggravate your asthma or, or um, hamper you from having good health. The ultimate goal of the truck and bus regulation is to save lives by reducing diesel particulate pollution. We think that once this rule is finally fully implemented, thousands of lives will be saved because we'll have cut so many tons of particle pollution out of the air. Hopefully the future is not going to be every child having to take an asthma class and suffer that uh, debilitating illness. I feel a big responsibility for the future of California. We're, we're all in this together. The health and welfare of all Californians on the children who are growing up today, on the elderly who are going to be retiring over in, in, in living for a very long time, all of these sensitive populations are going to benefit from this program. Like I said, I'm happy now that I'm doing my part to help clean the air for not only me, but my children, my grandchildren, and their children. I feel uh, energized by this task. I feel it's one that's uh, worthy of taking all of our time and effort to do because it does bring together all of the elements of California, that is, our people, uh, our geography, our meteorology, and says, we can do this, but we have to work together. Today, the flag is green. I feel very fine today. This has been a great ride. Now it's time to jump into action. Let's keep on rolling. So the end goal is really clean air, a cleaner California. I want to breathe good air. Everybody's going to benefit by cleaner air. For more information, visit the ARB Truck Stop website or call toll-free. The proceeding was a paid program sponsored by the Air Resources Board.